Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number three from the um, from exercise 14 uh, from the extended IGCSE Complete Mathematics for Cambridge uh, book by David Rayner. And this is a question on page 264 about speed time graphs. One of the quest one of the students has requested me to answer this question, so I'll do so. Um, he's actually asking for part B, but I'll just do the whole thing. <clears throat> so it says for part A, find the total distance travelled by this journey. So this graph represents the speed and the time taken for a particular object on a journey. And the speeds are in meters per second and the times are in seconds, as they're told in the beginning of the exercise. We've got to find the total distance travelled. So a speed time graph, the total distance travelled is given by the area under the graph. And here we have three separate areas. We have the area of this triangle, the area of this rectangle, and the area of this trapezium. Okay, you can, you can split it into these three areas. These are three separate sections. Or we could take A and B together as one trapezium, which I'm, I prefer to do. It's, it's up to you as you wish, but I can see this is actually one trapezium. So I'm going to take A as the whole of this area here <clears throat> and call this area B. That's what I, I prefer to do. I, I, I find it much simpler to deal with trapeziums. And the area of a trapezium is simply the distance between the parallel sides. Here, the parallel sides of this trapezium are these two. So the distance between the parallel sides is 10. So the area of A, we can say, the area of A is going to be 10 divided by 2. So you have the distance between the parallel sides, h over 2, times the sum of the parallel sides, a plus b. So the distance distance between the parallel sides is, is 10, that distance there, divided by 2, times the sum of the parallel sides, which is this length here, which is 30, plus the other parallel sides from 10 to 30 is 20. So this is going to give me 5 times 50, which is 250 meters. That's the distance traveled for the first 30 seconds. And then we've got the next 20 seconds, which also makes another trapezium, which I'm going to call trapezium B. So the area of B is going to be equal to, now for this case, you can see the parallel sides of this trapezium are these two. And the distance between the parallel sides in this case is this distance here. So it's going to be this distance. This is going to be our H now. So 50 minus 30 is 20. That's 20 divided by 2 times. Now the sum of the parallel sides are 10 plus 25. Okay, 10 plus 25. So that gives you 10 times, and that's um, 35, which is 350 meters. So we can say the total distance traveled, the total distance is going to be the sum of those two, which is 250 meters plus 350 meters which is 600 meters. That's for part A. Now we could have done it by splitting this into a triangle and a rectangle and a rectangle and another triangle and stuff, but I think that's going to make too much work for us. So just if you know how to find the area of a trapezium, it's easy. The trapezium, the height of the trapezium is the distance between the parallel sides. In this case, these are the parallel sides here of this trapezium. So this is the H, which is like you know, the, along the y-axis in this case. And for this trapezium, this, these two are the parallel sides of this trapezium. So this here is the distance between them. So it's 30, 30, which, the distance between 30 and 50, which is 20. So it's 20 divided by two times the sum of the parallel sides, which is 10 plus 25. Okay, so there's the answer to part A. Part B is what the student was actually asking for. So I'm going to use the same diagram, <coughs> bring it down without the markings that I've made before. Um, now, it says, part B says, the distance traveled in the first 40 seconds. So we've got to find the distance in the first 40 seconds. So let's say up to, f this is 40 here, up to this point here. So here we've got to do a little, a little bit of a trick here. Just There's different ways of dealing with this, but we can use some sort of um, proportion here. Okay, simple proportion or similarity. Okay, so I need to find, basically, I need to find what, I know this is up to here is 40 seconds, I need to find what this time is. If I find what that time is, then I can just 
have the same area for part A. A is all of this. So we got the area of A, which is the same. Okay, which is equal to, as we worked out earlier, which is 250 meters. Okay, but now we got this area, which is less than that area. Okay, so what, how much less is that, that area than that area? What we can do is, we can work out what this is by using some proportion. Okay, so what I can do is the following. I can think of this as a triangle. Okay, and I can see that between here and here is 20 units. Okay, so I can think of, I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to draw it over here. It's a big triangle. <clears throat> I can see that from between here and here is 20 units. And between this point and that point, this is between 10 and 25, that's 15 units. Now this smaller triangle here, <clears throat> I'm going to draw it next to it. I know between this point and that point is 10 units. Now, these two triangles are similar because they share the same angle here and the same angle there. So these two triangles are similar triangles. Right? So from similarity, we know that the ratio of the sides is, is the same. So if I want to find out what this, this length is here, I can just say that x over 15 is equal to 10 over 20. So x is going to be a half times 15, 10 over 20 times 15. So x is 7.5. So I know that the distance between here and here, this is equal to 7.5. That's the distance between there and there. That's 7.5. So that means this time must be 10 plus 7.5. So that must be 17.5. Okay, so that's 17.5 from the, from the bottom here. So I can work out now for, for B, I've got, I'm going to call it this trapezium here now. So for B, we're going to have... The distance between the parallel sides, which is again, which is 10 this time, so it's 10 over 2, times the sum of the parallel sides, which is 10, plus, but this time, it's up to 17.5, okay, from there to there, by similarity, 17.5, okay, so 10 plus 17.5, okay, and that makes sense because it's, it's half of the distance from there to there, that distance from there to there is 12, uh, sorry, it's 15, okay, and a half of 15 is 7.5. So this is, that's 15 from there to there. That means that's 7.5 from there to there because that's half that distance. This is half that distance using just similarity. So that gives us 5 times 27.5. So the total area is going to be given by, we can have 5 times 27.5, which gives us, um, 137.5 plus 250, so 250 plus 137.5, okay, plus 250, that gives us 387.5 meters, so that's the total distance, um, that's the total distance traveled, the total distance is 387.5, the total area, so therefore the total distance for the first 40 seconds, okay, the first 40 seconds. And then part C is asking us about the acceleration when t equals 15. Now, the acceleration when t equals 15, well, 15 is somewhere in this region here, and we can see that the gradient of, we can see the gradient of the speed time graph is acceleration. When we got 15 seconds somewhere over here, okay, we can see that the gradient is zero. So we can see the answer for part C, the acceleration is equal to zero when t equals 15. Okay, so in this whole section here, the acceleration is zero because it's going at a constant speed of 10 meters per second in that time. So therefore, acceleration is zero. That's the answer to part C. And that concludes this whole question. The question that was the important part was this. We use some sort of similarity to find this distance here. I hope that was clear. Other questions you might want to watch from this particular um chapter of the book chapter seven you'll find in the this is all in part from chapter seven i think graphs you'll find in the playlist that will be over here other questions that you might want to um, watch from speed time graphs of um, my igscc past paper questions whatever you can find in the playlist over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can find all my ig and my a level and as material in the description the links in the description. Thank you for watching and see you soon.